hand tools to produce CO2 dragsters by sanding, drilling, sawing, shaping, and carving. All this and more today on Dr. Zoom. Hello kids, Dr. Zoon here. Today we're going to be working on the dragster production using hand tools. In the last video, we went over dragster design, and now we're going to take our dragster design that we came up with and transfer it to our balsa wood block to make our dragster. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is put on our safety glasses because safety is the utmost of importance. We're going to transform this balsa wood blank into our dragster using common ordinary hand tools. Remember, balsa is very formable using tools. It's very soft, so you have to be careful not to take too much wood away as you're using these tools. Some of the tools that we'll be using today will be drills, hand saws, rasps, sandpaper, clamps, files, and a wood carver's tool. The first thing that we need to do is to cut out our working drawing and transfer it to our balsa wood blank. We'll use our scissors to cut out the working drawing, being as careful as we can to follow the contours of the drawing. And there we have the top view and side view of the dragster. We'll place the dragster blank on its side and put the working drawing on top of the dragster blank such that the dotted lines for the cartridge hole are lined up with the hole of the cartridge in the dragster blank. We'll add a couple pieces of tape to hold the working drawing down while we draw around it. And we'll use a black marker to trace around the outside of the working drawing. The next step in the process is to place the top view of the working drawing onto the dragster blank. We'll rotate the dragster blank up and place the top view of the working drawing on the top slanted part of the dragster blank. We'll be careful to align the working drawing with the axle holes below. These dotted lines should be right above the axle holes indicated by the small circles right below. Holding the working drawing in place, we'll add again a couple pieces of tape before we begin drawing around the shape. Using our marker, We'll trace around the outside of the top view of the working drawing. Once we have the top view and the side view drawn on the dragster blank, there is one very important step that you need to do next. We'll rotate the dragster blank and mark the position where we need to drill the axle holes for our dragster. We can simply use a straight pin and push it down through the working drawing at each location of an axle hole. This will show us where to drill in the next step. Let's take the working drawings off the dragster blank now. And there we have the general shape of the dragster 
which we will cut out. Before we do any cutting on this blank, we need to drill the axle holes. It's preferred to drill the axle holes with a drill press like this one. If one is available, use it using the instructions that are on my Power Tools video. Using a drill press will ensure that the hole that you drill is perpendicular to the body blank. To be able to drill our holes using a hand drill, we'll need to be sure that we can hold the block steady using a vise, either one like this one, in which case we need to add wood blocks on either side of the wood blank so we don't mar the wood, or we can clamp the body blank to a workbench like this one, or we can use a workbench like this one, which includes a vise in it, to hold our body blank. In this case, we'll place our body blank and an additional body blank in the workbench vise and clamp it down to hold it. Notice the position of the holes for the axles are here and here. We'll be using a small hand drill like this one and we'll use a 3 16 inch drill bit to drill our holes. We'll place the point of the drill bit at the point where we made the mark using our straight pin. We want to be sure that our drill is exactly perpendicular or straight up and down as we drill this hole. You may want to have a fellow student watch and help you keep it straight as you drill. You apply steady pressure as you turn the crank, forcing the drill downward through the wood. As you're getting close to going through the wood, use a little less pressure so that you don't splinter the wood as you go through. We repeat the process for the other axle hole, again placing the tip of the drill bit into the hole, holding the drill perpendicular turning the crank, and applying pressure. We've now completed the drilling of the two holes for our axles of our dragster. For cutting out the dragster body, a coping saw works very well with balsa wood. The coping saw has a very thin blade, but it is sharp, so you need to be careful to keep your fingers and hands and toes away from it. Before beginning to cut out the body blank, we will clamp the blank to our workbench using a clamp like this so that it holds it securely while we saw with the coping saw. We'll place the coping saw on the line that we drew and moving the coping saw back and forth through the wood, we'll cut along all the lines. We want to be sure that we keep the saw vertical like this or straight up and down as we saw. Otherwise, our dragster will be lopsided. Let's go ahead and cut this out. That's the last cut for the side view. And we'll save all the pieces that we cut off of the side view. And we will put them all back together and tape it all together to cut out the top view. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. With all the pieces in place, we'll take masking tape 
and tape the bottom, top, and sides all back together to hold all the pieces together in this form. That about does it for the taping. As you notice, now we can see the side view where we cut the side view out, and the top view we can see through our tape, and that's what we're going to cut out next. Cutting out the top view will require us to clamp the body blank in so that it's horizontal with the floor, so that when we cut up and down with the coping saw along our lines, the dragster won't be oblong. Let's begin cutting the top view. So there's the last cut along the top view of the dragster. And now we'll take all the pieces apart of this jigsaw puzzle that is now going to be our dragster. And we have the general shape or general cutout of our dragster. We still have a long ways to go to turn it into a racing machine. We'll take a look at our concept sketch and our roughed out dragster and determine where we need to work on the dragster to make it look like this. Let's take a rasp to cut out this corner right here so that more matches this corner. The rasp is very sharp, so be sure to keep it away from your fingers. Hold the dragster blank securely while you take the rasp and work it across the dragster body in a cutting motion. Likewise, we'll want to work on any inside corners that need to be smoothed or rounded. We'll use the rasp to do that rounding. If you have longer flat pieces on your dragster that you need to plane down, you may use a sure form to go over the dragster blank to knock off the ridges. Move the sure form across the dragster blank in a smooth motion. Again, be very careful with the sure form as it has very sharp edges. To round off the corners on the sides of the dragsters, and to do a lot of the other special detail on the dragster, it's handy to have a wood carving tool set like this one. There's a handle and several different shaped tools that you can use to carve on your dragster. This particular one has a straight edge, or there are circular tools, triangular tools, smaller circular tools, gouges, and a tool that would make a groove in your dragster. With all of these tools, they are designed to cut wood, so obviously they will cut you as well. Each one has a very sharp edge on it. That is the edge that you'll use to cut the wood, but be sure when you're using it to be safe and keep it away from your fingers. <coughs> to use the wood carving tool, simply take the carving tool and draw it across the corner of the dragster to try and take off a smooth portion of the dragster. This is excellent for taking off corners, sharp corners on the dragster's body. This will take some time but it will be worth it. It's handy to have a set of files like these, which are different shapes and have very fine teeth on them. 
So when you get to the point where you're doing detail work on your dragster body, these come in very handy. This one has a slightly curved file. There is a curved rasp, and there are several different other files, flat, triangular, and square files as well. One of the best tools you can use on balsa wood to refine your dragster to its final shape is sandpaper. Included in your kit will be a piece of 100 grit sandpaper, which is a medium sandpaper. You can use it to shape your dragster and to round off corners. Just pass the sandpaper back and forth across the dragster body where you want to take some wood off. In fact, you could do the entire process practically with sandpaper. There's another tool called the polishing stick, which will help us when we get to the finishing stage, getting in and sanding smooth, very tight spots. It has a rounded end and a pointed end, depending upon the surface that you're sanding. The final step in the dragster production is to sand it with a fine sandpaper. Like this 320 grit sandpaper, we'll go over the dragster body, taking out any last scratches or dents, and smoothing the body to a very smooth contour so it will go down the track very, very quickly. We're finished with our dragster production and we're ready now for dragster finishing, which will be in the next video. So until then, I'm Dr. Zoon saying, see you real soon.